uh, of course, as we are in the noon hour of the snowy day, we are getting our, our first snow emergency declaration. We do want to let you know about that. A snow emergency was declared in Garden City, effective just one hour ago. Vehicles there prohibited from parking on city streets until the emergency is canceled. And then over to St. Clair, that city has also declared a snow emergency. You are also banned from parking on city streets there. You want to stick with us here at Local 4 and on ClickOnDetroit.com to keep up to date with snow emergencies all across Metro Detroit and still to come after a hot and long summer. The cold weather has hit many parts of the country, not just here. Snow and icy rain stalling travel for a lot of people across the Rockies, and that has impacted people all the way to the northeast. We're going to take a closer look at that coming up after the break, so you'll want to stick with us here again. We have a comprehensive weather coverage for you all day today and again later this evening on Local 4 News at 4, 5 and 6 o'clock. We want to get to some breaking news that we're following now from the sports world about the death of standout football player Charles Rogers at the young age of 38. Family sources are reporting his death. If you are familiar with Rogers, he was an All-American wide receiver at Michigan State University. He was the Detroit Lions draft as the second overall pick in 2003. But his professional career was slowed by injuries. Rogers also experienced drug problems that led to a suspension by the NFL. The Saginaw native was last reported to be living in the Fort Myers, Florida area. The Detroit Lions, however, releasing a statement on his death, saying, quote, from Saginaw to East Lansing to Detroit, Charles's connections to the state of Michigan and its football community was felt by many during the course of his life. We extend our heartfelt sympathies and condolences to his friends and family during this difficult time. 